some years back we could predict and say you know in october by the 10th we'll have rains but nowadays you predict and it's 10th of october it's still sunny everyone is grappling with climate change we all agree that we can slowly mitigate uh, climate change but we cannot overlook the factor of adaptation that will help us manage ourselves as farmers and the population that brings us back to the kind of crops that we grow the varieties that we grow do they adapt to the climate change do they adapt to the soils do they adapt to the environment and do they give enough nutrients to the population my name is James Mutinda i am an organic farmer in Machakos County in Kenya. I picked up passion in farming after I worked in hospital. Most of the patients would come with issues relating to lack of some nutrients in their bodies. We were advising patients to go and eat nutritious food. So my farming is purpose driven by the desire to fill the gap. The orange flesh sweet potato is indeed a remarkable crop. It is nutritious. It's one complete diet in its own. It requires a small season because it takes three to four months. Once you prepare your soil very well, you can plant it during any particular time of the year. So whether you have the rains or not, you still have your harvest. Where my son goes to school, I planted for them half an acre of orange fruit sweet potatoes. And then there's a friend of mine also, and I helped him to design the farm and plant the sweet potatoes. I would like to do that to as many farms as possible, to share the little knowledge that I have with people for the benefit of us as a community. If you get involved in a sustainable chain of production, today you have maize, tomorrow you have maize and beans, the other day you have kales, the other day you have something different. So sustainability evolves around being able to maintain that of which you're doing for yourself, for the community and for generations to come.